So I'm Dr. Randeep Guleria. I am the chairman of internal medicine, respiratory and sleep medicine at Medanta, the Medicity Gurgaon. And today we'll be talking about COPD, that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. What are the, the symptoms and how can we prevent this disease? COPD is a disease which to a large extent is preventable if we avoid exposure, which is basically to pollution and also to cigarette smoking. One of the strongest risk factors for developing COPD is exposure or, drink or smoking a cigarette. In our country, in India, we also see COPD in women because of biomass exposure. Women who cook in indoors using a chula and there is exposure to fumes at an early age while they're using wood and cow dung to, to cook is also another cause of COPD in the developing world. And in India, we see COPD both because of smoking and because of biomass exposure in rural part of our country. But it's a disease which can be prevented if the exposure is avoided or it's not there. COPD is a disease which occurs at an older age group, unlike asthma, which, like, which is seen at a younger age group. Normally, we, a person who has a risk factor of COPD, that he's been a smoker, there's exposure to biomass fuel or chronic exposure to air pollution, starts developing cough, which is gradually progressive. There is progressive shortness of breath and wheeze, and this gradually increases over a period of time. Sometimes it's more during winter months, but then gradually it becomes throughout the year and there is also some degree of sputum production along with the cough. So if these symptoms are becoming more chronic and persistent, then one can consider that this person, uh, if he has the risk factors for COPD, may have underlying chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD is a disease which is evaluated by looking at lung function and seeing these symptoms that the person has. In the early stage, a person has just breathlessness, which is on mild, uh, on uh, activity uh, when the patient, this person is walking and there's associated cough with a little bit of phlegm production. But as the disease progresses to the next stage, there, the breathlessness tends to increase, there is more wheezing in the chest and the person starts feeling that he's not able to climb a flight of steps and there can time, at times be worsening of symptoms during the winter months or whenever there's an exposure for which there may be a need for increasing medication and at times even antibiotic. As the disease progresses and there's more and more lung damage, the person becomes breathless even on minimal or mild activity or at rest. And then when it becomes more severe, then there is a need to take oxygen at home. And sometimes then in more advanced COPD, there are features of severe breathlessness which needs supplemental oxygen at home and sometimes other medications because once the disease progresses, it can cause strain on the heart, leading to swelling of the feet and uh, other symptoms for which the medication becomes much more. So once a diagnosis of COPD is made by, by lung functions and by looking at the history, and at times you also do a chest X-ray or a CT scan, which will tell you whether there are changes on the CT of uh, COPD in the form of what we call emphysema then one can say that this person has COPD. The most important part of treatment is basically to stop the trigger factors. And smoking is a very strong trigger factor. So if you have a person who is a smoker and has COPD, he must give up smoking. Because if you continue to smoke, your lung function will continue to decline rapidly and you will have your COPD will advance more rapidly. But if you stop smoking, then the decline of lung function can be slowed down or even it plateaus off or halts and that will help in terms of improvement or delaying the progression of disease. Along with this, we evaluate the severity of COPD depending on how breathless the person is and also whether he's having frequent attacks in terms of what we call exacerbation requiring increase in medication or hospitalization. And based on that, we give drugs which are predominantly inhaled therapy, inhalers which dilate the airways, decrease the inflammation of the airways, and also some other medication which may be useful for giving sim symptom relief. But I'll again stress that one of the most important treatment factors is to stop the risk factors and that is smoking cessation. So if COPD is diagnosed early and the person stops the risk factors, that is biomass exposure is stopped if person is cooking indoors and there is exposure to biomass fumes, or if the person is smoking 
and stop smoking, then the progression of COPD can be halted, symptoms improve, your breathlessness becomes much better and therefore it's very important that you can slow down the progression of COPD by preventing the risk factors and therefore smoking cessation is very very important. We also give uh, bronchodilators, so COPD is not something that you can reverse but you can slow it down by preventing or the risk factors and that is smoking cessation.